Hey, it's Don Lindsay from Canadian Farms Network News. We have a serious alert on here that I think is important for us to share across the nation of Canada. What uh, concerns me is this area. I was just doing for a little walk here down, and I see this piping plover area. It's a breeding nesting zone, you know, and it's fenced off, and of course there could be children here, you know. And it got me thinking, as I'm walking along the beach and I'm looking around, I started thinking, there's a lot of problems right now in the United States of children being suspended from school for making pistols out of Play-Doh and for taking, pointing their fingers at each other, using sharpened sticks to perhaps poke a frog, as if it's some sort of bayonet. And these are serious concerns in Canada that we have to really sort of take into account. After a short 10-minute walk down the beach here in Masada, I came across this weaponry which I've collected which of no doubt could cause a complete disruption in school. I'll just use this bayonet that I found here on the beach. This has, uh, any of you gun owners will recognize, it's a pepper box pistol with a side folding stock. And we know how common these are on the streets of our nation. Here is obviously a small pistol with a, uh, you know, spur hammer. This is obviously a 1980s type guns, uh, 9mm machine pistol. Last thing we need is a kid running around going Brrrr. So then here we have uh, what looks like a pair of 25 caliber Derringers and some cinematics. Much like the pistols that my father was arrested for having after his father took them off a Nazi in Holland in World War II and brought them after the war as a Canadian Forces War heirloom trophy, registered after the war, passed it on to my father in the 1980s, and then the Liberal government outlawed the short-barreled pistols and they then had the police raid my parents' house and charge my father, who is a pastor and has the Order of Wasaga Beach and uh, has helped abuse children since 1978. But thank you, Jean Chrétien, and all of your friends. You did a good thing keeping stuff like that out of Canadian hands after it was locked up and only registered since the 1940s. Last thing we needed to happen is for a good pastor to go on a shooting spree. And here, all this is, is a flintlock pistol. My father's been heavily involved in the Civil War reenactment stuff. In fact, on his order to Wasaga Beach, they mentioned his involvement in the uh, Civil War reenactments. We have a cannon in the garage. But... Uh, uh, we also have some dueling pistols and uh, flintlock type stuff. And if we can have it, what happens if a kid gets a stick that looks like it? This is serious. You know, and the thing is, is even though the flintlocks haven't been really built since the 1700s, except in reproductions because they're archaic, they are classified the same as if somebody had themselves a Glock 40 caliber pistol with a 32 round magazine on it. But these are concerns we have to think about. Last thing we need is somebody collecting 1,700 pistols, single shot flintlocks, and going on a shooting spree. Thank you. Canadian politicians, you have done the right thing. So do what you can. I want you to take a photo of these assault pistols and concealable handguns, sticks and bayonets. And I want you to send this video to all the anti-gun communities out there and warn them about this threat. We need to napalm our beaches to burn these sticks right off the face of our planet. The last thing we need is one more child having a stick that looks like a gun. God bless you all. God save Canada. And for God's sakes, don't vote liberal.